Hey everyone, this is Wad from the MW Technology Channel on YouTube, and in this video, we're doing an unboxing and a first look of the 13 inch MacBook Air that's all new for 2013. Now, there's a lot of different features that sets this apart from the current generation of MacBook Air, and we'll discuss that in a little bit. But first, of course, let's go ahead and unbox this and see what comes inside. So, let's go ahead and cut this cellophane open and unwrap this. Okay, now let's go ahead and slide open the box. And the first thing you see, of course, is our 13 inch MacBook Air, which looks very nice. We'll just take that out and uh, leave it for the side and save it for last, of course. Now here we encounter some of the paperwork that comes with the MacBook Air. So it comes with a quick start guide, a little bit of information about the Air, and of course, your famous Apple stickers. Next at the top of the box, we have our MagSafe power supply and extension cable. So we'll take out the packaging of this and you'll see that the power supply brick is a little bit more smaller and a little bit more lighter than your typical ones that you would find in older generation MacBook Airs. So that's kind of nice. Now since 2012, they've actually updated the MagSafe system to MagSafe 2, which gives you this new end connector, which is slimmer and a little bit more easier to to use than its previous more thinner lower profiled MagSafe one and uh, this makes a little bit of a difference I do like MagSafe 2 uh, just because it's a little bit easier to use okay so now let's get back to the main attraction we'll take off the outer plastic on the computer itself and uh, let's go ahead and boot up the MacBook Air Okay, so we're just finished the initial setup process and we're now into the OS. And as you see over here, we can go to about this Mac and find out that it's running 10.8.4, which is currently Mountain Lion. The OS will be updated to the current generation Mavericks that just got announced. So stay tuned for some of those kind of features. But overall, in terms of general specifications and updates that this computer has, you're going to have a really hard time noticing any physical changes to the MacBook Air. It's virtually pretty much the same thing in terms of its physical dimensions and features. Now you still have the front-facing 720p FaceTime camera, you still have backlight keyboard on this thing and all the great features that you'd expect from most MacBooks. Now in terms of some of the important external ports you'll find on the new MacBook Air, starting from the left-hand side of the laptop you'll find dual microphones that should be better for FaceTime and video conferencing. Next to it you have a headphone jack, a USB 3.0, which is awesome, and the MagSafe 2 port. Moving over to the right hand side of the device, you'll first find a Thunderbolt connection, which is going to allow you to hook up external monitors, as well as do some pretty extreme things. Thunderbolt is a really powerful uh, peripheral device, and uh, it's definitely going to allow some really exceptional things for even a small computer like this. And next to it, we have a high speed USB 3.0 port and a full size SD card slot. So, uh, great overall features for a pretty compact pack machine. Now internally some of the highlighted features include a all new solid state memory system which is going to be about 45% faster than even the previous generation SSD that was in the 2012 MacBook Air and it's going to allow you to wake up the computer even faster. Another kind of a significant upgrade from any generation of laptops is the including of 802.11 AC Wi-Fi support. This is the new standard which should allow for more stable faster Wi-Fi connections and as you'd expect this is also running the latest generation of core i5 dual core processor the Haswell chip and that is definitely going to give you higher clock speeds in terms of boost and overall running frequencies as well as give you a lot more power efficiencies one of the big uh, perks of the new chipsets from Intel is they're really really power efficient which is also going to result in probably one of the biggest features about the new MacBook Air and that is its all-day 12-hour battery life. Now of course this doesn't necessarily mean that if you're a heavy user you're going to get 12 hours no matter what. Everything especially depending on battery life is going to depend upon what you're doing but uh, my hypothesis is if you're generally using web browsing and watching YouTube videos here and there and mostly doing word processing and things like that you'll get 
a pretty much all day experience out of this computer without a single charge. But of course, we'll text that out and confirm that uh, feature. And uh, that means make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, Much Say It Too, where we're going to have a whole bunch of videos coming out about the new MacBook Air and comparing it against some of the older generation Apple computers and uh, really see if this product is worth the upgrade and right for you. So make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, please make sure to favorite as well and share the video that really helps us out tremendously. And lastly, thank you so much for your support and we'll see you later.